Hi everybody, this is Cindy over at Paper Old and New. I am, as you can see, I have a scattered array of things here on my table. Um, I am doing um, the Teal and tattered, tattered Challenge for October. I picked the five things that she put on her list for October. Um, and I'm going to give this a shot because one of these came in the mail. I don't know if you guys remember, um, I got one of these trifold advertisement things in the mail a while back. And I told you that I made a, I tried to make a little folio out of it and, um, the sides wore because I didn't reinforce them and just folding them back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And finally they tore off. Um, so this time I got one of these in the mail and I said, um, one of the things on here is something that you love. And I love these for making these little folios out of. I've been waiting for another advertisement to come in the mail that folds like this. Most of the ones that have been coming have just been large cards. So this one folds and I was excited. I actually went a little overboard with the something. I love lots of things. So it was kind of hard to pick. Like for example, I love mushrooms and I love gnomes. And right now it's fall. So this is what we're going with for the theme. Plus look at her. Um, now, when I was trying to separate this, it tore right here above the dog's head, but I really want to keep this picture on this folio. So I'm going to try and decorate around it. There's also a little piece of the other sticker where I cut it. I went and peeled this one and it tore and I cut this one after that. So um, I really want to preserve this because um, I really like this picture of this little girl sitting with her dog uh, in the grass, all dressed up for fall. So, um, and I thought that, uh, I would take you along for the ride. Um, now starting off, we are going to cover the back. I want to cover the back up to her with this mushroom fabric. That's where I'm starting. Um, now other things on the list were something gifted to you, a fussy cut element. Ooh, a quote. I haven't picked a quote guys. So we'll have to, we'll have to go searching for that. And then a bulb pin. Um, I have a box that I haven't opened yet. So I thought it was interesting that that came up on the list because like I said, I haven't used mine yet. So let me, oh, I did want to say that I reinforced, this is Tyvek, like we use for book binding. Um, I glued strips of Tyvek to the inside. Okay. So Pull this up like this and set it on the sticky. I'm leaving a little bit in case I want to put some sort of an edge or a border here. Um, actually, you know what? I'm going to go right all the way up to the fold because if I put an edge or a border, it's probably going to be on the side with her. Okay. I think we're good. Now what I'm going to do is cut this off of here. Uh oh, oh we're going to have to glue some more. I have to glue some more right here along the edge. There we go. Now we'll get out our big old scissors and we'll trim this off. So um, I haven't gotten a chance to go over and check out um, the um, teal and tattered page. This glue stick, I don't like glue sticks. That's the other reason I'm going to stitch this. I suppose I could have Mod Podged it. You know what I should do? I should cut it, or should wrap it. I can't wrap that spot, but I can go... I'll wrap it like we would a book cover. Okay, now I can use this for other stuff. Um, I'll wrap it like we would a book cover and then when I cover the inside, um, it'll cover the edges of it. And then the edges of the thing will be covered. I'm like dropping things and making a mess and I don't really need this much of this and I don't want too much in there bulking things up. I don't know what I'll do with this strip, but I'll figure something out.
Okay. Now, I'm just going to cut this one off. Because I made a boo-boo and didn't think about it before I did it. See, I'm kind of doing this one on the fly, so... <laughs> Um, I am going to do the corner thing. So if you do it, I think if you do it and you leave a little bit of space, it ends up covering your corner pretty good. You don't end up having anything stick out. But I don't know. We're about to find out. I haven't done. So we're going to pull that tight. Glue it down. And we'll do the same thing on here right over the Tyvek. Glue stick is like good for temporary hold, like while I'm holding this down until I'm ready to sew it. It'll kind of, it'll kind of do that job. All right, so we got that. It's got a little point. Okay, let's put some down here. And we'll fold this one up. I'm actually making my strip of glue on here too wide, so it's like I got sticky stuff on the cardboard. So anyway, um, yeah, this was kind of hard. The abstract, I like it when she gives like, when the list well, it's not she giving. She she draws these things out of her little box, which I think is a, cr a great idea. It's a really cute, um, fun way to just kind of randomly pick things that you have to use in something. And um, But the more abstract ones are a little bit harder for me. It's that math science brain of mine. Um, I like a list. I like a... Um, like that. So anyway. All right. Now... So that, I think, looks really, really nice. And I'll do something about that in the future, later down the road. All right, and then um, we'll make sure that this still, this still folds okay, right, with the little girl. And then we have this piece that folds over like that now. And you have the little girl and her dog. So let's, and then I have all these papers that I pulled out um, for the inside and we got to do like pockets. It's a little folio, so it's going to have pockets and all kinds of stuff. So I have this pumpkin paper, which I like the scroll work in these pumpkins. Let me put the lid back on this because we're probably not going to use it again. I like the scroll work in these pumpkins and then there were these leaves, which I thought was really cute. And then here's a striped pattern thing that I thought was really um, very fall, lots of different. And here's just a fun stripe. Now here's a word page that's got all kinds of things, raking leaves, give thanks, bonfire, all kinds of things you would do in the fall. Um, I thought this was pretty. I don't know that that would go with this though. So, um, And then there's an argyle and apples. So I'm kind of leaning toward these guys to use. So we'll see how that goes. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pause this video and I'm going to run upstairs and I'm going to stitch where I want to stitch for this. And then I will decide on uh, how I'm going to cover this so that you don't have to watch me him and haw about it. And then I'll be back. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm back. For you, it's been seconds. For me, it was literally two days. Uh, so yeah. Um, although I did do a few extra things while I was away from the camera, I just couldn't get back to filming. So I stitched around the back. I'm still a little out of practice on the stitching thing. So like there's a wide gap here and it kind of goes up and down and I'm still practicing keeping my stitching in a straight line, but I just did it with, um, brown thread. It's just a dark brown thread. 
a piece that's loose. Um, okay, so what I, the other thing I did was I made corners. And this was mostly because it was really frustrating me that it, the dog's face was torn and I like the leaves. So we put some leaves on here. So when it opens up, you've got these leaves on the front and I put a falling leaves sticker on the front with the little girl and the dog. Um, I was looking at what to put on these little corners because where all the leaves pile up together, it's just like an, uh, it looks unfinished. So I have these chipboard pieces. Um, I've also done some cutting of pages to make them fit. So you guys don't have to watch me cut on camera. And um, so we have all that and things are ready to glue down and put together. So we'll do that together. But I have these and I was looking at the acorns because it's leaves, but they're so small compared to the leaves. Not that either of these are big, but the flowers are bigger and they're fall colored. And I kind of like that, like that. So I think we're going to glue, I don't think these are adhesive, although they look like they have a, oh, they are adhesive. Wait, we'll have to get the peel back off. Mainly because, I mean, I'm going to use glue, but what I don't want to happen is for it to peel off of its backing, because all I did was glue the backing down. That would be bad. Um, and we'll try and do, I'll try and do a run through of like, uh, what part, sorry, my glue is clogged. I'm not so sure it's unclogged. Nope. All right, there it comes. Um, I'll do a rundown since this is the teal and tattered challenge. I'll do a rundown um, kind of, not as we go, but at the end and kind of um, go down what everything that I interpreted her draw to be on her list. Um, I think these are fun. I was upset because in September when she forgot to do one, um, and I know it, people get busy and, you know, life gets in the way and sometimes you just don't get around to it. Um, but uh, I thought she, I thought she had decided not to do them anymore. I was like, oh no, these were so fun. <laughs> so I was a little disappointed that it wasn't there only because I thought she was not, she was discontinuing it. So I was like, no, don't discontinue it. It's fun. So anyway, all right. So we have these little leaves. I hope that one holds. All right. So now we're on the inside of this and I have made some plans. So what we're going to do is I made this piece of paper. I cut, the, I cut two of these actually. I cut one for either end and I cut this piece of paper for this end to go like this. And then this little pocket while I was upstairs sewing around that, I sewed around this. Now you can see this is all crooked and wonky too. I'm, I'm still going through the motions of learning the, so we're going to glue this one down. But first what I want to do is I want to glue, um, I wanted a ribbon that tied really well. So I'm going to glue half of this under this piece of paper like this so that it has, it's glued down and then the paper will be glued on top of it. And then the pocket will be glued on top of that. And hopefully everything will hold. So we're going to go right down the middle here. I really need to get my glue mat. I'm going to get glue all over my cutting mat again. I should at least get a book page or something. Hold on. So that I have something under here because I'm getting ready to smush a bunch of glue out the end. All right, so we're going to lay this down in this glue so that that sticks there. And then we're going to glue this paper down on top of it. So, um, yeah, I, I really like this. Um, when I see these hashtag challenge, whatever's, if they're, if I'm catching them at the beginning or they're like monthly and I happen to catch it on the month. Like the ones that are counting down and they're doing like, like I've seen a couple of them where, well, first of all, I, I don't, I know they're probably not really all that expensive, but I've seen one that's like guest checks or something like that. It's supposed to be 50 guest checks going through a stack. Probably how many come in a pad, if I had to guess. And um, you're altering guest checks and they're on like week 11. And I suppose you can join in at any time, but I'm always like, I gotta play catch up. <laughs> Not to mention, I don't have any guest checks. 
All right, so that should hold this ribbon pretty good and it can tie the folio closed. Um, I have to figure out how to do it on this side because it's gonna come, they overlap. It doesn't overlap a lot. So hopefully if I do it and then you tie it on the end there, it'll be okay. Um, and then we're gonna glue this pocket down. So I'm gonna, I, I don't know. I'm debating on whether or not to take those off. Right now they're staying. If I decide to clip them off later, they'll be on the edge over there, so it'll be all right. Or they'll be on an edge and I can clip them off. I'm gonna glue right over the stitches. I've heard um, several people say that the stitches, like when you glue on the, on the stitching, it helps, the texture helps hold. I don't know. I'm new to sewing, so I, I don't have a, I don't have an opinion on that. But it sounds good, because they're always telling you like, rough up surfaces to make things stick and all that. So it makes sense. All right. We got that glued down and here's my strings. If I decide to do something with those. Okay, so now we have a little pocket here. All right. And I cut, okay. I'm gonna have to glue this down. So I have to like kind of slide this little, Like I said, I cut two of these, but on this end, I'm putting down a belly band and I want to, I want to tuck it under. So we're going to glue this one down first. Um, this one, since it didn't, I didn't fold the fabric over this end. Well, there was no fabric to fold because of the picture of the little girl and her dog. So um, with these ones, I kind of cut them a little short of the edges. Um, just, so they didn't hang over, I didn't have to trim, and the fabric shows through, so it's okay. And we're going to glue this piece down. Um, but anyway, I did the, I was still very new to the whole process of journaling. I don't even think I had started a journal. I talk like I've been at this a while. I've only, I, a couple months. Uh, end of July, I think is when I started, but, uh, end of July, 2022 this year. Um, but anyway, so, and then she started this thing in August and I saw it and I was like, this looks like a lot of fun. So I did the August one and I think she did a July one. I just don't think I had like, I've lost my glue rag guys. I don't think I had gotten started yet enough to make sure my words are right side up. Directional paper. I want to glue it down upside down. Um, I don't think I had built up enough stuff or had enough ideas or, or anything like that ready to, to do a, a challenge. I think for that one, I kind of looked at what other people did, watched her video. Um, that was when I was still in the, I guess, learning phase. I was still watching videos and learning all the stuff. Okay. Now, got that glued down. Okay, now under this, we have two things to do. I have marked this the width of the paper and I actually want to score it so it folds good. By the way, just a little um, little tidbit here. Uh, you'll see I'm using, if anybody of you recognize, that's an Apple Pencil. Uh, it died, it won't charge anymore, it's, it's dead. Um, it makes a really good scoring pen. It's an expensive scoring pen, but it died and I can't get it to charge anymore, so I might as well use it for something. But it works really good. It fits right in the, it fits right in the grooves. So, if your Apple Pencil dies on you, don't throw it away. All right. So now that folds over nicely and hopefully it will, it will go right to the edge of the, yeah, they've got a little guide here for envelopes. I'm going to have to try that at some point. One of these days when I sit down and just make snake stuff, I'm trying to talk over the clattering. Oh, I forgot to put the pencil back. 
I know those Apple pencils are, I still have the iPad, but that died in, I don't know, I, for as much as it costs, it didn't last very long. I was very upset, so I did not buy another one. I just used my finger. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm going to put this on here as a belly band. Ah, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put this down here as a belly band on here. And I think I will glue it to the back of the page. This is my temporary glue mat at the moment. So I'm going to glue these down on here. Close that. And we'll glue this. I just want everything to be secure. I want the belly band to be tight too, because whatever I slide down in there, I don't want it to slip out because there's no bottom to this. Well, I mean, I guess there's no bottom to any book, but there's no bottom to it. So I don't want it to like, it's not good. It's not like it's going, look at it. It buckles. I did still, well, maybe when I glue it down though, it'll be better. I don't know. Okay. And then our ribbon from the other side has to go on here and I'm hoping this works okay. So we're going to run some glue right down the end for better or for worse. This is what we're doing. So yeah, I love, um, I mean, one of the things I do remember from this list is the something you love. That's really hard because I feel like when we get into this, there's like tons of things, but I love these little gnomes and these little red and white mushrooms or, or the mushrooms that are with spots. They don't have to be red and white, although that's the ones that attract my attention the most for some reason. Um, but yeah, the little mushrooms, I think they're so cute. I think I was going to put this a little lower because this is the spot where I trimmed the fabric and then decided. So I don't know what I'm going to do with the bottom down there. Maybe I'll get some, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right, so we're going to put glue on here. I had to buy a new bottle of Fabri-Tac, and I haven't poured it in here yet, but I'm running low. Glue those down again. Hopefully they'll glue right over the... I don't think I center them well, but hopefully at least in part, they'll glue right over the ribbon. My fingers in place of my glue rag because I can't find my glue rag. Okay, so we want this closer to the bottom than the top. I don't mind if the mushrooms peek out at the top, but I have this border down here that's kind of, I don't want to say it's blank, but it's not decorated. It's not covered. Uh, not too close because I don't want to. Okay. So then we have that side. One to the middle. So we've done, I've done a couple of things. First of all, one of the things I did was I fussy cut out this little guy. And while he's not, I really like him. I think he's really cute. Can you see him? I'm working down here at the bottom of my table again. Because I have all this clutter up here. <laughs> I cut this guy out of this book. That I have over here. I'll show you in a minute. And I wanted to put him in here. He goes color-wise, and he's holding what looks to me like wheat. And he's sitting, there's a barn in the background. So even though he's wearing short sleeves, it seems like early fall-ish. Just because the wheat harvest would be at the end of summer as we're going into fall. So I just thought this was, I mean, I don't know. I just thought he was really cute. So I think I want to put him here, but he's kind of all by himself. So let's see if we can find something. To put, Ooh, I kind of like this. What if we put this?
kind of up here. I don't mind covering up my stitching, guys, because my stitching is horrendous. And then we put this down here. Kind of like that. Okay, that's what we'll do. And that'll get this pocket decorated. Oh, oh. I do want to put glue on the back of these. They seem to have a pretty good tack, but I'm always worried because like I'll tack down stickers and then I'll open up something and the the glue seems to be uh, the they're peeling up around the edges. I'm like, that's gonna be glue. It's like no sticker adhesive is permanent stickers. I guess they think you want to be able to have the option to remove them. All right. Let's get this little boy and his dog down on here. I also thought it was cool that he has a dog with him since we saved the little girl and the dog on the other side. So I kind of thought it was neat that he has a puppy with him. And that kind of fit also. I don't want to glue his head down yet because it goes over top of this. So I'll push it down just a second. I almost made a boo-boo. And I figured, you know, like you make something like this and it can go in, don't pick me on his head. I have to pick his head up. Pick your little head up. I, like you could, um, cause the other closure I thought about doing, which, you know, you could do also, I mean, I could always cut these ribbons right at the paper and you would never know they were there. Um, but the other closure I was thinking about doing was just a paper clip, like a big red or yellow paper clip and using it at, to not only to close the, to like clip it closed, but also as, um, like to put it in a journal. So you wouldn't glue this down to a page. You would clip it into the journal and then you could take it out and open it and, you know, do whatever you're going to do with it. Um, and I just, I kind of thought that was, I mean, it can still have a paper clip to do that with. It just wouldn't necessarily be needed as a closure anymore if the ribbons work. Okay. There we go. Now, art-wise, he doesn't go with anything else I'm using, but, you know. All right, the other thing I was thinking was I wanted to decorate up this belly band because it's just plain craft paper, and I was thinking about making this the surface of the belly band. I did not want to make this the belly band itself because it's a little bit rough on the back, and I was worried that, see the way the back is like a bunch of strings? I was worried that anything you tried to slide in there would get caught. So I figured if I put the craft paper down and then I put this on top of it, oh yeah, I like that a lot. Um, that would be better. And we're gonna cut, nope, we're not gonna use those because I don't think those are right here. Let's get the big scissors. All right, we're gonna go right up there. And then we're gonna cut this off and then I'll just trim it to side, I mean, I'll. I want to try and get it close just because I don't want to waste too much of it. So we'll get it as close as we can. I think right between these two threads. Oh, I lost my place. Just like that. These two threads. I was about to cut it short. Okay. All right, let's glue this down. I am still working low. Sorry guys. I'm going to end up going back and looking at this video and half of it's going to be off camera. I tried to make it so that my camera, so that if, like if I slide too low, I tried to make it so my camera goes all the way to the edge of my table. So hopefully anything I'm doing on the table you can see. And I, I don't do a lot of things off the table. So. Um, all right, plenty of glue. Gotta love this Fabri-Tac stuff. 
Well, I mean, there's all different ones out there, I guess. It just happens to be the one. I don't remember who I was watching. Somebody I was watching, this is what they use. So I bought some and I tried it and it works great. So I'm like, okay. Now, I have a couple of other, I have a couple of things cut. So we have this little guy, which I took a piece of the pumpkin paper that I showed you earlier. I showed you all that scrap of paper. Here's a piece of it here. And I took a cut off and I made this, I backed it with some coffee dyed paper and I made this little card, hopefully to slip down in there, right? And we're gonna cover it with, I wanted to put this on here. It's like crocheted trim. And I actually cut it, there's a piece of this um, somewhere else that I wanna use for something else. So, uh, and then I was gonna put him on here and where'd my little sheet go? And I kind of wanted to use the pumpkin and the pumpkin patch because his background is blue. So I thought the pumpkin patch thing would go really well. And I don't know. The problem with this is they're stickers. So once I get them off of here, I kind of need to, it's going to be like a stack of squares. And then this guy, like that. Yeah, and then he goes right in there. There we go, guys. We got one side done. See what I mean about, I don't know if you've heard me talk in my Mickey. Oh, that book is frustrating me right now. Um, that Mickey journal that I'm doing, I don't know if you've heard me talk about the fact that I can't just put the pockets in and leave the page. I look at it and I go, the page isn't done. I need to put something in there. So like I've made this belly band and I've made this pocket and I'm like, I got to put something in those. Um, so yeah. All right. Uh, give me just a second and I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Whew, man. Um, all right. We have... Okay, so we got this one done. We got the belly band. We got the thing in it. And then I have this one that I was trying to make. This one I'm a little less positive about what I'm doing with. So I figured we would go along for the ride and try and get this one done. Uh, let's. I do. I do want to put this piece of paper down on here. So let me do that. I get the feeling I'm gonna have to tear this further. So I have not yet been over to the October challenge to see what everybody else is doing. I don't like going and looking um, a lot of times at these challenges that other people, when like going and looking at what other people is doing, because I, I don't want, <laughs> I want to come up with my ideas first, do mine, and then go look at what everybody else did. That makes sense? I'll figure out how to say it. It's been a long day. Okay. So we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and glue this piece down because I know I want this back here. There's a lot of things I'm practicing learning to use. Like, so, you know about the sewing machine thing. I thought I was getting pretty good at the straight line thing just because I've been doing so many of those ruffles. But I suppose, you know, if my line isn't straight on a rough ruffle, it gets kind of hidden in the ruffle. So, um, I mean, you can't really see the seam up the middle. So, I don't know. But I'm a little... Maybe I'll do a little slight edge around it. I like that. Okay. Now, the idea for this one was to put this little guy on here. And I think I was going to do the apples on this one. So, like, picking apples. But I might have to cut it. Hmm. Okay, so we want the apple. This time we'll have to remember to put it under the gnome. 
So we want the apple. Now the picking apples part, I, it's too wide. So what I'm going to have to do is cut it between the words and then stack them or, you know, put them. like that and then I can just cut the corner off of the one up there yeah I like it okay there we go now he'll go in this pocket he needs a tab something of that nature but let's move on to getting the the folio itself done and then see it slides it's too loose. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Okay, next was I took this little guy and I thought that I would take these pieces of coffee dyed paper and make a little book like this and stick it in here. All right, I'm gonna pause you again and I'm gonna run upstairs and we're gonna I'm gonna try and sew this in and then I'll bring it back down and show it to you. Hold on. Okay, guys, I'm back. And here we go. You can see the stitch. All right, we're going to take the clips off. See how she does. Look at that. Kind of close together. I'm kind of worried about it perforating. That's the only thing about doing this, and maybe I should have lengthened my stitch so it wasn't so close together. That's the only thing about doing this is I'm I'm always worried that it will. I wonder if this is probably not a good idea. If I'm gonna do it anyway, and we'll let you know how it works. If I run a bead, not a big one. Just right along the edge. And then at the bottom, same thing. Right down into that seam. And then open it the other way and do the same. And then, see, because it already looks like it's perforating right there, and I'm not sure if I'm seeing things or... There's a piece of me that thinks washi. I should put washi on it. And maybe I will. I ordered some fall washi, guys. I can't wait until it comes in. So, ooh. All right, so uh, hopefully that will hold. I've stitched it in. Um, it does close. This has gotten wider on this side, so hopefully these strings are gonna work. Um, and then I cut this out, which I thought, and put, well, that's not true. It's one of the stickers off the sheet I keep taking fall stickers off of, and then I tore the coffee dyed paper out. And I thought it would be cute to put this on the front, and this could be like a little notebook of fall activities that you put in a fall journal. Or some sort of, you know, uh, calendar planner thing. And you tuck this in there and clip it in with a paper clip. And then this part has a little booklet in here and you can write things down, you know. And there you go. Look, I might have to get washy anyway. One of these coffee dyed pages is torn. Oh, you know what I could do? I could do that thing I've been doing in the journal and put, wait. I don't know if there's anything. Probably nothing big enough. That's a pretty big rip. 
would have to be something quite wide to go like a tab. Hmm, maybe one of these. What do I got in here? Oh, that's kind of pretty. I mean, if you've got to repair something, it might as well be pretty. So let's stick that down in there. See, I'm almost out of camera. It's because I get so cluttered up here above me with all the stuff I'm using. So I work down close. Where I have space. Because if I put all the clutter below me, I'll be constantly knocking it off onto the floor. Okay, put that there. I don't necessarily know that it needs one on the back. I mean, it's glued. But, one on that page. I, I don't have... Oh, you know what I could do, though? I could alternate. So... Oh, I don't have a... Oh, I do have an apple, but... Hmm. Because I was going to say, this is raking leaves. If I put raking leaves here, and then put a le the leaf sticker here, or vice versa. Start with the leaf sticker here. Should I try and line them up, or do you think it matters? Probably doesn't matter. But So we'll try and put it right there. All this stuff sounds like so much fun, right? Well, not raking leaves, that's not really fun. Jumping in the pile. We used to do that as a kid. Now I watch my nieces and nephews do it at my parents' house when we all get together. Kind of lined it up. You can see it through the edge. You can see it on the edge. Okay, so we got a leaf. And then we could put raking leaves here. Or maybe I won't put it at the bottom, maybe I'll put it at the top. So up here. All right. And then we have the flower. I don't really pick flowers in the fall. It's more of a spring thing. Uh, what do I got though? Let's see if we can find something that might. You could just put autumn on there. I just put autumn right here. No, no, you know what? I think I'm going to put hayride. It's fall activities, so we're going to do hayride. Oh my goodness. This video has gotten way too long. I have to do some trimming, guys. Because this is part two. I have another 12 minutes to add to this. Okay, now we're going to stop doing that. Oh, one page. How many pages? Oh, two pages. I don't have one that says anything about pumpkins. Maybe I already used it. I don't think I did, though. Because I have a pumpkin, but I don't have a, a pumpkin saying. I suppose I could do... We'll do this quick. We're going to do the apple, and then we'll do picking apples. This one's kind of smaller, but it's what I got. And I still like it. I like the the idea of going through it, and you get a little picture for each of the activities. Except the hayride. I mean, I had a flower, not a bale of hay. So, All right, and then picking apples. Real quick. And then we have to finish this, and then I think we're going to call it. Um, it's going to take a few minutes. This one's going to be over an hour, guys. I'm going to have to find some serious trim.
I don't know if you guys are going to want to sit with me that long. Is that torn? That's torn, so guess what? We're putting it right there. All right. There we go. All done. And so we have our little fall activities booklet. And then I had put this little collage together. So let me real quick slide this back down in here. I should like do all this off camera and then just show it to you. <laughs> I did not, I was not paying attention. This is what I've said. I've said this a million times in other videos. I can get down here and totally lose track of time. Just fumbling around, looking for stuff, trying to see what matches, you know, just all of it. I, I, I could be down here for hours losing track of time. And normally when I'm filming, I'm watching. And honestly, with everything already put together, I thought this is going to go really quick. It's not going to be that long. And well, you know, so there might be a few skips in the video where I edit out some of the gluing and stuff and like do a page turn and make it look like you're flipping through a book with me. Um, I like that about my editing software. I can kind of add little things like that and make it. So if I pull out space and there's a skip where, you know, I'm over here doing this and then the next picture is me over here gluing something and you have no idea what happened in between. <laughs> I can do a little page turn and kind of connect it that way. And uh, I, I've enjoyed using that particular feature just because since we, we do books, it, it fits to me. Again, that's my weird brain and how it works. So um, I really wanted to use the darker side, but I don't like the way it sits on the page. So we're going to use the lighter side. And we're going to do it quick. This, I have a, I have a pocket and a belly band. I mean, okay, let's try that again. I have a pocket and a belly band and, a, and writing space. And I was like, I don't want to, I mean, what else do you need? <laughs> so this is just going to be kind of a decorated spot in the folio. Guys, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I kind of am loving the way this is turning out. I'm so glad that another one of these finally came in the mail. I keep saying that, but these are fun to me. Just taking these fold up advertisements and making these little folios. And depending on, I mean, they're kind of big. I don't, I haven't measured and maybe we'll do that. Um, one of the last things we'll do is I'll measure how tall this thing is when you close it up. Put this lace down here. <laughs> Get glue all over my fingers. Actually, it's right here. It is. Let's put it at the six. And at the. It's like. To the 15 would be nine. Nine and three quarters. So it's nine and three quarters tall. So you'd have to put it in a tall, pretty tall book. Um, if you were going to put it in a book. I'm trying to remember where I had everything. Okay, so they're going to go there. No inking on the fabric. Just because... Unless you put it down somewhere and then ink it. It doesn't really... It's making this little blob of glue on my... I don't want to be there because it's partially dried and I think it will make a like a raised spot. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, and then the other thing we wanted to put down was this. I'm trying, guys, I'm trying. From the time I started talking about me not having enough time, seven minutes went by. It took me seven minutes to get the last few things in that fall activities book and get to where I am on this collage. See? Can you see? Okay, I'm gonna put this little pumpkin guy right here. I used the pumpkin patch sticker over here. I really like these filigree pumpkins. I think they're really cool. All right, and then we're gonna do, am I doing gnome sweet gnome? I think that's a draw. I don't know, is that too much? I can't decide, because I was gonna put this family fun thing on here. Oh, seriously, these nails. I love sometimes, and then, you know, it's like a love-hate relationship. For better or for worse, that gnome sweet gnome might go down and then we'll just... Oh, you know where I might put it? Because I don't have anything out there. All right, guys. Now we're going to close it up. Let's see. This one. You have to pull that tab out. What if I put it here? Or here? I kind of like it out here on this, so I'm going to do that. Oh, I forgot. I have to put the... I guess I can't really put him on the inside where I wanted to, so we're going to have to figure out where to put him. Because if I put him on the inside, he's going to... He's going to make it stick up. I might be able to stick him through one of these leaves, although I don't know how much... how well they'll hold up. I could stick him through the end of one of these strings. I wonder if I could make a small bow. Can I make a small bow? Ah. A really tiny one? If I can get the right... Yeah, it works. Here we go. I don't want to cut it off because I'm afraid if I cut it off... Well, it's not that tight though. I don't know, guys. It's not tight. I might end up having to cut that off and figure out a different closure. Uh, but one of the things on the list, so I have to do it, is a bulb pin. That was on the thing. So I have a little bulb pin here. And I made a little mushroom charm. Oops, I missed. It's like threading a needle. There we go. And I was going to stick him on here, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid it's going to add excess. I can't get him through because of the glue, probably. Oh, for pity's sake. There we go. I'm definitely going to have to fix the closure. But there you go, guys. Um, you've been with me for over an hour, and like I said, I still have 12 minutes to tack onto the front of this video. Um, but here we have our uh, folio made for the October Teal and Tattered Challenge. Something you love. M mushrooms and gnomes. Right now, that's my, like, I love them. These mush these little white red mushrooms with the white dots and these gnomes right now, like I said, I'm thinking about challenging myself to make um, all kinds of gnome journals. And as you can see, I found a little glass mushroom to do the accent on the thing. Um, I'm going to have to make another tag so that there's two in there to hold that in because, or put a clip on it, one or the other. Um, so the list was something you love. So the mushrooms and gnomes, uh, something gifted to you. Okay. Now that one was a little hard for me because I haven't, a lot of the stuff that's been gifted to me has been like base material or games. Um, 
which are great, but they're nothing that I could use here. And I really wanted to make this because the other something I loved was this, these ads to make these things. But my mom gave me these little Rand McNally books. And in the back of this one, right here, you can see where I cut the page, is where I got this little fussy cut boy. And that leads to the other element, which was fussy cut element. And so I fussy cut him out of something that was gifted to me, but I also fussy cut these little gnome fabric pieces out. So I have those also. So I got one, two, three little gnomes in here, and then this little gnome, sweet gnome, all fussy cut out of the fabric. Uh, a quote. Oh, hmm. I'm going to admit to not having a quote. I have lots of little sentiments, but I do not have a quote. I missed one, guys. I missed one. And I meant to go look up some fall quotes, and I didn't. So I missed that one. Um, but I did get the bulb pin, and I put the little mushroom on there. I don't know if you guys can see him. It's just a little glass mushroom charm. So if you rode this all the way through, I appreciate you sticking with me. Um, I am thrilled with how this turned out. Um, I think that it would look really cute clipped inside of a journal. So right now, if I wanted to, I could do this and it would stay closed and you could use the clip to clip it in to a journal. Um, so well, Gnome Sweet Gnome is kind of a quote, but it's more of a sentiment. I don't know. You guys can decide whether or not I failed that part of the challenge. <laughs> I have lots of sentiments in here about fall, but no actual quotes. Um, I loved doing this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope it gave you um, another inspiration for something to do with those silly little mailers we get all the time. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. And hopefully I can get this down so that it's not an hour and 20 minutes long. Bye-bye, guys.